Hello guys, I'm Alex Kolaskov and uh, this is the second lec lecture for my uh, online course. Uh, I call it online coaching course, uh, tabletop photography for beginners. This time uh, we'll be uh, shooting dark glass. Dark glass is sitting there, it's a bottle of red wine. Uh, the most common um, in photography if you think about what dark glass could be. Uh, I'm going to show you a um, whole um, kind of the sh build of the shot uh, from the very beginning, doing all the mistakes I know almost every photographer, every beginner uh, are going to do if uh, they will do themselves, because I did the same a long time ago when I was kind of shooting my first bottle of wine, I went through this. So I want to show you uh, all of this so you'll understand uh, why you're getting such and such look, which uh, in many cases you won't like, and how to fix it. Uh, so let's start from reviewing what uh, other, well, how to shoot and how it should look, the bottle of red wine. Let's go online. Uh, I'm not going to find uh, like uh, uh, expert photographers, really cool photographers, uh, who may uh, shoot bottle uh, of wine really good. I just go online, Google wine online, and uh, I just picking up uh, several um, top results. Basically, this is these uh, websites which uh, sell online some wines, and uh, well, this is probably not good, but for example, this one. This is the bottle they have, one bottle, another bottle, and I don't know, do you like them or not, but I can tell you my uh, opinion that I don't like what I see. I don't like because look at those bottles, one soap box on the right, La one soft box on the left. That's it. Uh, do you need a course to shoot something like this? No. You just have two soft boxes and put a bottle in the middle and you got this shot. Perfect. However, uh, I'm going to show you how I think they should be done. Any bottle of wine should look like when it's done professionally and with passion. Right? So let's start our uh, 337. I don't know, whatever that, uh, bottle of wine. 